Today in the Fresh Brew Run Club, my first run review in the Nike Alpha Fly 3. Welcome to the Fresh Brew Run Club. My name is Aaron and today I am very excited. I'm always excited about running, but today I'm especially excited because I am going to break out a new pair of shoes that I have been looking at on my shelf for like the past month, month and a half. It is finally time to run in the Nike Alpha Fly 3s. I'm pumped about these. So I got these a while ago. I got them on StockX. We're actually going to pop the tag on these. I've been waiting for that moment for a while. So here we go. So for today's video, what I'm going to do is give a quick breakdown of the shoe. I'm going to go out for a run. I have a six mile tempo run. So I'm going to do a mile warm up, six miles at my tempo pace, which I'm training for a marathon and then a mile cool down. So a couple different paces that I'm going to be running at in these shoes. I'm going to give some thoughts in the middle of the run and then I'm going to give my conclusion. Now, keep in mind, this is only my first run review. So things can change over time. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss future videos where, I don't know, maybe at 50 miles, I'll do a quick review of these. So a quick breakdown, what is the Nike Alpha Fly 3? Great question, thank you for asking. So this is Nike's super shoe. This is their elite shoe that their elite marathoners wear at the biggest marathons in the world. All of the technology and all the resources Nike has in running seems to have gone into this shoe. So that's why I'm so excited about it. So last year I ran my marathon PR in the Alpha Fly 2s. Uh, so I said, you know what, let's, let's not switch it up. Let's go with what works. I'm gonna get the Nike Alpha Fly 3s. These are a little hard to find. So I got them on StockX. You can find all the different colorways there. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. But the Nike Alpha Fly 3. So like I said, this is considered a super shoe. There's a couple things that make this shoe so super. The main one being the foam. They have this Zoom X foam. I don't know if you can see just how much foam they have there. Zoom X foam is Nike's like most high tech, lightweight foam. So this shoe is extremely light and that's the power of this shoe. It's, it's really lightweight. You're not really going to feel weighed down by this shoe at all for a couple reasons. The main being that Zoom X foam. The other reason it's so lightweight is the upper. You can almost, I mean, you can basically see through uh, the upper on this shoe. It's this mesh material that's very breathable. You can feel the wind between your toes when you're running in this shoe. Now, if a shoe company were to make a super lightweight shoe with this very squishy foam, you're gonna have some stability issues. So in order to counteract those potential stability issues, there is a carbon fiber plate in this shoe, which you can kind of see it right there, that helps to add some stability. It helps to stiffen the shoe up a little bit. Some people say it sort of springs you forward. Um, I don't know how much it like springs you forward. Maybe there's a little bit of like give back, a little energy return when you're taking a stride in the shoe. But the main reason that that plate exists in the shoe is to add some stability so that you can just plow through those marathon, half marathon, 5K, whatever distance you want to run in this shoe, it's going to be fast no matter what. Now, one of the things I'm very interested in finding out today is the arches. So that was probably my number one complaint with the Alpha Fly 2s was the arch was a little bit high and it felt a little bit narrow kind of in the, the midfoot section there. I have heard that Nike addressed this problem and has made a much more comfortable shoe. Uh, we'll find out. With that said, I'm going to go out on my run. This is going to be a tempo run, so it'll be a little bit of a faster pace. This is the pace that I'm going to run in the marathon, so I think it's a good gauge. Plus, I'll do the warm up and cool down a little bit slower paces um, and, and just see how it feels at, uh, at slower speeds. So uh, with that said, I'm going to throw on the running gear, throw some good tunes on and get out there in the Alpha Fly 3s. All right, let's do this. Beginning workout. These shoes are good. These shoes are nice. Three miles. Struggle bus. I'm so cooked. Ah, mile to go. Into the wind, into the sun. Let's get it. All right. That's it. Oh. All right. So, uh, my first run in the Alpha Flies was uh, not the best, and that is no fault of the Alpha Flies. I just had a really bad run. <laughs> so, I didn't record any shoe thoughts during the actual run. I'm gonna go back home, take a shower, cool off, but just a quick initial thing. You hear that? There is an incessant squeaking that uh, it went away for a little bit, but it's back. Interesting. Anyway, I'm dying out here to see you in a second to wrap this video up and give my initial thoughts on the Alpha Fly 3s. 
All right, I am back, I'm rested, I'm recovered, and I'm ready to give my five takeaways from one run in the Alpha Fly 3s. The first of which, uh, this is a squeaky shoe. Uh, when I first started, it was very loud, it went away, and then it came back at the end of the run, so I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what parts are rubbing together to cause the squeakiness, but it sounds like a couple birds are following me down the streets. It didn't seem to impact performance, but I don't know, these are an expensive pair of shoes, and I'd rather not sound like Bozo the Clown stomping through my neighborhood when I'm running in these, but uh, I don't know, I guess that's just part of running in this shoe. Maybe it'll go away with time, I'll keep you posted. The second takeaway, these shoes are more comfortable than the Alpha Fly 2s, which I ran a full marathon in these. I ran my PR, it's a good shoe, but I know a lot of people had complaints about how narrow the, the foot area was and then how the arch rubbed against people's, uh, people's arches. There was blisters and things like that. This shoe feels much flatter, so if you do have like low arches, I don't think it's gonna be as big of a problem. These were pretty comfortable. They just felt like a normal running shoe. You know, they weren't too narrow, the arch wasn't too big, so definitely an improvement comfort-wise compared to the Alpha Fly 2s. The next takeaway that I noticed, and this could be just because it was my first run, but these felt a little bit firmer than the Alpha Fly 2s. I don't know if I need to break these shoes in or what, but there was a level of firmness that I didn't remember with the 2s. I think maybe I'll do some kind of comparison video just to just to get a real sense of, of the firmness, but these felt a little softer uh, compared to the more firm Alpha Fly 3s. But that's just my first impression. Uh, that could change over time as I break these shoes in. And then my fourth takeaway, I am a heel striker, so obviously I land on my heel, and I think the design of the actual heel is good. Uh, there's more protection. I was a little worried that I was gonna wear down this part, which this is just the actual like Zoom X foam. Uh, but after one run, there really isn't a whole lot of damage. There's a little bit right here, but the location of that heel outsole appears to do a good job for heel strikers like myself. This shoe is best if you are a midfoot striker and, and only using this front part, but most people are actually heel strikers. This shoe seems to address some of the concerns I had with the Alpha Fly 2, which you, know, you can see that unprotected heel area. This is just the foam, but the Alpha Fly 3s have a lot more coverage in the, the back end of the heel area compared to the Alpha Fly 2s. And then my last takeaway for the Alpha Fly 3s is related to how bad I ran yesterday. This shoe tends to punish bad form and bad running. My form was a mess yesterday. I was tired. I just couldn't really get into a rhythm and that is a disaster when you're running in these shoes. When you do have that rhythm, when you're feeling good, when you're feeling in control, when you're really feeling like on top of your pace, these are fantastic. That's what the Alpha Fly 2s were. The first mile in these were awesome, but once my stride started to break down, once I got fatigued, uh, things got a little bit tough. So if you are having a bad run in these, it gets magnified, especially if you're a heel striker, you're kind of like losing a lot of momentum with these shoes. Uh, but if you're, you're feeling good and you're flying, I imagine these are really good, but I had like the worst run that I've had in, in many months. So you really gotta be on top of your stride and really feeling good and really get into a rhythm for these to work, otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be a long day out there. Now, I don't wanna completely say like, oh, these shoes are good or these shoes are bad after just one run, but I think I have a pretty good sense of what these shoes are all about. This is also not a shoe that I'm gonna put like 300 miles on. You know, I wanna kind of save these until the marathon, keep them fresh, keep them crisp. But as I run in these more, I'll definitely follow up. So subscribe so you don't miss future updates about the Alpha Fly 3s. But first run, pretty good. I wish I would have just physically felt better, uh, but the shoes themselves, seem to be pretty good, although they are a bit squeaky. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I will do my best to answer anything that you might have, or if you have any comments, or if you're running in these, if you like these, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, that'll be the video for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.